Hey guys, okay, so today I have got for you the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation Healthy Skin Pro Vitamin B5 helps maintain skin's moisture barrier for a healthy looking skin. Okay, it's this one. I did a post, like a just a still picture post of this foundation. I was going to do it on last Friday, but it did not work out. So we're here today. This is in the shade Light 01. I don't remember how dark the shades were. I feel like this was like in the neighborhood of like $15, so we'll see what happens. But another serum foundation to add to the other pile of serum foundations that we have been getting recently. Uh, runny, but a little bit thicker than I was expecting. Um, it's not like a water thin consistency. It's got a little bit of creaminess to it. So let's get on. I'm just gonna use my fingers actually. Okay, this looks like an almost spot on match to my skin. It's already looking decent. It is a bit on the pink side. I would prefer it to be a little bit more on the peachy yellow tone side. Okay, that's it off my hand. Like it's not highly pigmented. It looks like it's just exactly what it says, like a skin tint serum kind of product. A lot of these have come out um, recently. Um, I think for summertime, this would be really great. sort of a your skin but better. As a first impression, I'm liking the way it looks on my skin. It is pretty shiny though. And uh, this is my skin with just moisturizer on. Pretty shiny as you can tell. But a similar amount of shine, I would say. Um, I don't know, like, I like it because, I mean, I so far, like as a first impression, I think it's nice, but there are like a thousand other skin tints on the market and I don't think that this is remarkable next to them. Um, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I think this hint tint skin tint from Morphe has got more coverage and I actually like it better, but this is looking nice and I can't take that away from it. If you're looking for a no makeup type of makeup, this might be your guy, girl, as the case may be. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on this side and, uh, Let's just see what happens if I use a brush, because I normally do use brushes. Usually a skin tint is gonna work better with fingers. I don't feel like the product is soaking up into the bristles. I can still kind of feel it. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be good for no makeup days, no makeup makeup kind of thing, which I think is gonna be good. I'm going to be putting up another video full of like no makeup makeup on Friday so this will be a part of that situation yeah so I mean it's pretty self-explanatory it is a skin tint it is not covering very much, but I do think it looks really nice. It covered up enough, I feel like, of my eye pigmentation for it to be not like a completely useless product. I'm gonna put a little bit more and we'll just see what happens. I've got hyperpigmentation all over my eye area and I do this specifically so you guys can see like the coverage level that we're getting from these products. It seems to me though that like a product like this is gonna be good, especially if you don't want any creasing. I don't I don't think this is gonna crease up too much in my upper lid or my lower under eye. It looks really nice. I can't take that away from it. I think the I mean I feel like this one has a bit more coverage, and I also feel like these two are sort of in a similar price range. So if you're looking for sort of coverage like this, 
you know, you're getting, you are getting a little bit of coverage, but there are so many, there are so many on the market right now. Of the ones that I've tried, I feel like this one I like the best, um, but there are so many products like this on the market right now. So I think it's nice if this is what you're looking for. It's a little bit shiny for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back with a full face and I gotta say, like while I was doing my makeup, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this looks really good. Like it looks really good. I feel like if you're looking for a serum type foundation, you might really like this. It's looking just very natural and beautiful on my skin. It's a little bit shinier than what I would prefer. Um, and again, to date, this has been my favorite. This got more coverage, I will say. Um, but I don't know, so far as a first impression, it looks really nice. Um, again, I think it's just a little bit too shiny for my, for my taste. But if you're looking for a product like this, that's looking like this, I think this is a decent one. I'll put it in the description like how much it costs, but I, it's kind of on the pricey side. So um, I, I don't know, like I feel like these two products as well might be a similar uh, price, but they offer a similar look as well. Um, but this specifically, um, I can't really say anything bad about it except for the fact that it might just be too much money than what I would want to spend. But I think as far as just the product goes, it's fine. I like it better than this one. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This one has got a little bit of pearl in it. This one does not. They're both very shiny though. So I don't know, like, I guess it just depends, but this one was $20. And I just think that's an outrageous price for what you're getting. I, I like this one better. It seems to have better coverage and it's looking more natural, even more natural. This one looked okay, but this one is looking better, I feel like. All right, so that's all I got for you today. I will wear this for the rest of the day. Update my thoughts in the description. Um, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.